Hi there, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And in this video, we're going to be doing something a bit different, not something that I typically teach any of my courses, just something that I thought about today and I thought would be fun to try and to record. And that is to do Bitcoin mining in Microsoft Azure. So you can see on screen that I have my Bitcoin miner successfully working. It's not very powerful, but it is working. And in this video, I'm going to take you step by step through the process of signing up for the right Azure instance to do Bitcoin mining and then the software that you need to get that. Now I should say right off the get go that there's a very little chance of this being a profitable activity. If we look at the NC series virtual machines, which is the first one I'm going to try, it does uh, come with the NVIDIA T4 GPU and one of those okay and the cost is 71 us cents per hour uh, roughly one dollar or 90 cents or so canadian per hour and if i go to a profitability calculator and i, I do a manual selection here and i go into us dollars i'm going to assume electricity is free because we can do that part of it ourselves and i'm going to pick the nvidia tesla t4 one we have one of those at our disposal and say calculate so you can see that it is um, suggesting that i could make up to two dollars per day but going back to this we are looking at uh, 71 cents an hour is 17 dollars a day so the cost is 17 dollars a day and the profit is two dollars a day so you are looking at losing money by doing bitcoin mining in the cloud but this is just an experiment. You might have access to these machines for free. You might have credits. Maybe your enterprise or your company has excess credits with Microsoft that you must spend by contractual agreement. Or maybe you're just looking for an interesting experiment and it's something that we can do to learn this without installing software on your local machine, etc. So what uh, we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up an NC4 T4 instance and we're going to use the nice hash miner, which is a very simple miner to get going uh, to try to mine our $2 a day while spending, you know, more than $2 a day. So again, not profitable, but this to me is, is interesting. So I go into the create virtual machine. I'm going to create myself a machine called Miner, and I'm going to uh, do that within a new resource group. I'll use Windows 2019. You could use Linux. Now you are going to need to either have a CPU or a GPU miner. And I've chosen in this case to do GPU mining. There is a specific uh, instance type for GPUs, and that is NC series. Uh, I'm looking for an NC series, the uh, NC4. Now, my particular account doesn't have any NC4s currently allowed. You can see the usage is zero of zero. And so I do have to request an increase in the quota. So I'm going to need four virtual CPUs for the single instance. And in the Azure portal, you could actually just request real time an increase. And you can see that it has gone off and now it is uh, asking Microsoft powers that be for additional CPUs and I've been approved. So in that uh, minute or two, basically been able to get myself this NC4 series. So I choose that. And now I go through the process of creating a virtual machine. Now I could choose to create this as a spot instance. Spot instances are a lot cheaper. I could perhaps get this for about one third the price of a regular virtual machine if I was to allow a spot instance. But the problem with that is that you basically bid on this and then Azure could evict you if they find someone willing to pay more. And so what you end up with is you're mining only for part of the month. Right now, I don't see the benefit, although I guess if I can get my prices down, then there might be some benefit there. Now I have to, it's a Windows server, so I have to create a user name and password. I'm going to keep the RDP port open for now. Uh, I'll probably have to churn, ch uh, change this if I'm going to do this, um, you know, as a real thing going forward. 
I'll leave, I'm not going to create any data disk. I could create a data disk if I wanted to, um, you know, do some local data storage, but I'll keep this, everything installed on C for now. This is just a demo. We'll skip over uh, those um, uh, tasks for VNet. In terms of all the settings, I'll leave everything on. Usually I turn on the auto shutdown, but I won't. I won't, don't have any extensions or any uh, startup scripts to run. So I can just go ahead and create this. It's going to be a an NC4, AST4 virtual machine. You can see it's listed at 90 Canadian cents per hour, which was at 71 cents US per hour. So I better not dilly dally too much with it. I shouldn't uh, leave it running and not have my Bitcoin mining going. So I'm going to hit the create button and we're going to get this virtual machine going. Now, virtual machines don't take too long to create in Azure. This might not be a very common VM instance size, so it might take a bit longer, but we've got the creation going and we're just gonna wait till the VM is ready to go. So that didn't take too long. I can say go to resource. That'll take me back to the resource. We can see that the NC4AS machine was created. It has a public IP address. We can actually use this connect link, which is in the top menu, which will allow us to use the Windows RDP to connect into this virtual machine. Now, don't forget, it does take a few minutes for the VM to get started. Uh, so I'll download the file. I'm gonna say connect. I do have to go under more choices and use the administrator user ID and password that we uh, previously provided when we created the VM. When we try to connect to it, it's gonna ask us to accept the certificate. First time you log in, it has to create some desktop related stuff. Now, with respect to my friends at Microsoft, when you start these machines, you're given Microsoft Internet Explorer. Now, Internet Explorer is not even a supported browser anymore. There's, there's becoming, um, I believe, end of life. So instead of trying to get it working, uh, you know, there's a lot of security and approvals you have to do. I'm just going to go and get Chrome. So don't be uh, upset, but uh, I'm, I'm going to download Chrome browser so that I can, because I'm familiar with it, basically. So this is me just downloading and installing Chrome on the server. Now, the reason I have to down download and install Chrome is because then I have to go to the NiceHash website and sign up for that and download the software for that. And it's just, again, security related issues. So downloading and installing Chrome pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna to go to the uh, NiceHash.com now that I've got Chrome installed. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to estimate the profit. So I have this virtual machine and there is this auto detection tool, but I'm going to quickly realize here that I don't actually have video drivers installed. This uh, NC virtual machine doesn't come with vi video drivers already installed. So it's not detecting my vi GPU card. And so I'm going to have to do a manual check to see this Tesla T4 graphics card, what the profitability of that is. Now, what it does is it uh, looks at the price of Bitcoin and it looks at the hash rate for the Tesla T4 card. And you can see it's come up with this estimate of around $1.95 per day, which I mean, obviously is not that great. Now you might say, okay, $1.95 a day is $700 a year. This would be great if you weren't paying for this resource. If I look at this uh, NVIDIA, again, the one we can tell the card that came with it based on the Microsoft site. So let's uh, log in to NiceHash here. I do have an account already. If you don't have an account, you can go to NiceHash.com. It's relatively easy to create an account, uh, create, right? log in your user ID and password. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the mining section and I'm going to download the miner. So there's this download button, download miner, and I'm going to use what's called the quick miner. Now there probably are more efficient ways of doing this, but this application is so easy to use that, um, again, you could probably make 10 or 15% more if you take control of this and run proper mining software. But 
And this is a, a demo to see that I can do it. Now it's telling me that the uh, Windows Defender is likely to find this to be a bad software. Um, we're going to acknowledge that and we, we can just make an exception for it when that does happen. Now I'm going to download the installer, but again, the installer tells me that it needs, um, it needs the right drivers. So I need to go to the NVIDIA website. We can see that I go to the device manager and uh, it's not showing any display uh, devices. So I go to the site and I'm looking for the most appropriate uh, driver. So under data center, which is the Tesla series T4, it's the Windows 2019 server. And we are going to just take the latest uh, version of that. If I do a search, I can see that there's a, a driver available that was released a couple months ago. So I'm going to go and download and install the latest driver, agree to the terms and conditions. It's around a 300 megabyte, 400 megabyte file that's coming down for the data center NVIDIA driver. If I click on it from right within Chrome, I can see that it's offering to install it. I will close. This is the nice hash error message telling me that uh, it can't find the driver. So I should uh, close this message before uh, doing anything else here. Now, installing NVIDIA drivers is pretty straightforward. You just go through the wizard. Now, I like to not do the express way. I like to do custom, even though I, I sometimes don't change the settings. I just like to see it there. And you just go next, next, and it will install the latest driver. Now, sometimes it takes a few minutes for a driver to install but um, I will, I'll fast forward that. So now we have the latest NVIDIA driver. We can close this out. Now we can go and run the, the quick miner installer and don't mind overwriting it. Um, run the installer and then download and install. And it's going to basically start up. You see how quick that was? Now I do need to give it my Bitcoin mining address. Now the, uh, the NiceHash website creates a Bitcoin mining address for me. So I'm going to basically allow NiceHash to ha uh, store the wallet. I'm going to paste the Bitcoin mining address there and say, okay. And now there's some, what they call optional setups. So right now the mining has actually started. And if I wanted to rename it or um, like this button is for auto starting when Windows starts, etc., we can do this. Okay. Now, tuning a Bitcoin miner is a very specific task, right? You really do have to get into overclocking and the settings and things like that. I am not a Bitcoin miner that knows how to tune things. So, all I'm trying to see here is that the miner is working. So I'm going to change the font size here on the screen. This is so reminiscent. I did some Bitcoin mining like eight years ago uh, when you could do CPU mining and GPU mining from your home. Uh, totally, the interface has not changed a lot since then. It was a lot more complicated to get started. A lot of config files. But here we go. I've got, looks like 25.4 mega hashes. You can go to the website. You can see that it recognizes the miner as being active. There's no results yet, but it's saying to me, once I do get start to get some results, that Bitcoin in, they, they do pay out on a four hour cycle. So every four hours, my wallet will contain some Bitcoin. Now, remember, I am paying 70 cents per hour for this to run. And so um, I will remind you once again, 15 minutes into this video, that you're likely to lose money doing this unless you have really special pricing for the server, unless it's a server that you've paid for, but you're not using. Maybe you have some idle uh, reserved instances or something. Um, you know, you might have that situation. But or if you're using the spot pricing, you can maybe get some profit out of it. But here I am making two dollars a day 
and paying $17 a day. So the difference is quite stark. I've also not tuned this. So I'm, I'm actually quite of excited to see this 25 mega hashes per second on this Tesla T4. Um, I'm going to have to go and search to see what is the acceptable rate for that in, in that particular thing and how far off I am on it. But um, yeah, I, as of this moment, have a Bitcoin miner running in a Azure virtual machine, NC4AS T4. And you know, at the end of this process, I will have some Bitcoins in my account. Now it's been a couple of hours later and it's still running. We can see that it's estimating my profitability in 24 hours as being $2.45 worth of Bitcoin. Um, in the last couple of hours, I've made 12 cents. So clearly not doing great on that. But we can see that my rig is running. I'm not doing any uh, CPU mining. I'm doing entirely GPU mining at a 100% load. So the CP, the GPU is working to its full capacity right now. Anyways, that's my experiment of setting up a Bitcoin miner using an Azure virtual machine. I thought it would be a fun little thing to do today. Don't probably intend to, for this to be running. Uh, I'm not going to end up paying hundreds of dollars a month for this VM um, for this, but I thought I would try it. And who knows, maybe someday the price of Bitcoin and the difficulty of mining will make it more profitable again. But in this particular case, with this particular GPU, definitely um, not a little bit far from the profitability. This has been Scott Duffy. I hope you like this video. If you would, wouldn't mind, please hit the like button because this is great for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll try to do a little bit more fun, quirky videos, a little bit nothing, not necessarily that's in the courses, but uh, maybe project based, things like that. Um, so if you have any suggestions, any ideas, leave them in the comments. Which, what else could I try? Maybe I should try Ethereum mining. Maybe I should try uh, some um, smaller coin that's just getting started, Chia, uh, things like that. That's maybe what I'll do one day is I'll do a Chia miner. Um, because that is a, a storage base. That'll be interesting. Uh, anyways, thanks a lot. I hope you have an amazing day.